Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Gomer the Ranting Thespian, back again with another series. I'm actually going to consider this one a palate cleanser to my Pokemon Quartz run. And he's creepy. Uh, so as you can see, this is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, I was actually, uh, I was actually uh, inspired to do this by Chugga Conroy, of all people. Um... <laughs> He did a Majora's Mask run, and I thought he did a good job, but I was like, you know what, I'd like to play it. So, uh, my normal off-screen uh, gameplay was named Link. For the purposes of this run, I'm gonna self-insert. <laughs> you know, just to help differentiate a little bit. Alrighty. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey. A secret and personal journey. My accent kept, keeps going everywhere. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his pa place among legends. I also can't read today. <laughs> but yes, a couple of things going into this while we have this going on here. Uh, one, yes, this is on an emulator. Um, I, I do have a game bridge type thing, but it's so far it's just not been working like it's supposed to. I've got all the discs, I've, I've installed everything like I'm supposed to, but... It just isn't working, so... Plus, I don't have a working N64, as far as I know. Um, I like... I think there's one around here somewhere with Majora's Mask. But I, I just haven't been able to find it. And even if I could, there's still the game bridge problem. So, emulation it is. And there will be times where you can really tell where it happens. And I'll point it out the first time it happens. Um, if I notice it. Um, uh, also, unlike uh, Chugga Conroy, who inspired this run, by the way, uh, as I mentioned... Uh, I'm not going to be going too in detail. I'm not going to be like going to talking to everybody and boo. Yeah, that happened. Um, I love how opponent just stays there and just doesn't run off. How, how do horses really behave that way? Do do tamed horses behave that way? I mean, seriously. Hello, creepy mask kid. And you have a creepy laugh. <laughs> you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Huh. And yes, this is our, our, our basic villain, if you will. If you can't tell by the mask. Flop. Hey, watch the hands there, Skull Kid. Oh, oh, what a pretty old Karina. Hey, Skull Kid, I wanna, let me touch it, I wanna see. And I'm not even bothering with a voice change for tail, for not tail, but Toddle, because, yeah. You, you, you're hearing my high pitch, that's about as high as I can go without really straining my voice. You can't tail. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. I like to think that Toddle is actually um, transsexual and just hasn't gotten a hormone therapy yet. So that'd be kind of cool. You know, that, 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 that is an alternative character interpretation right there. <laughs> Which, hey, you know what? I, I think it's kind of cool. Aw, oh, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Yeah, I'm going to try to differentiate between Tail and the Skull Kid in this case as much as I can. I love Link's face. <laughs> He's like, you fucker. <laughs> what, what, what? Ah. Oh, dear. This makes me question Epona. I thought Epona was, like, a little more intelligent. N instead, Epona is just kind of, like, just galloping off. Like, like, nothing. Like a runaway train or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just a game thing. I, I really don't know. <laughs> oh. But, everybody knows. Boom. Link's off. Ah. Uh. Uh. But I don't know, Toddle the Transsexual Fairy, uh, obviously male to female. Um, what do you guys think of that? <laughs> I, I kind of like that. Also, it gives me an excuse to not have to worry about a voice for her. <laughs> I, I admit, it, it's, it's, I admit, maybe it's 
born a little bit out of voice laziness, but the more I think about it, the more it's like, you know what? Why can't it be that way? You know? There, there's there's nothing that states it can't, and, and it's like, so why not, you know? This beginning area, you only go through once, so I'm getting, like, all of the rupees, because <laughs> they'll come in handy later. Um, yeah. Hey. Uh, plus, it helps... This this area also helps you get used to the controls a little bit. Uh, you can run, you can roll, and as you've seen, I can also do a full turn with the control stick. And oh shit, this grass! Ah, is it? Did all that grass just commit suicide? Suicide grass. Again, another one of those things where it's like, okay, what do you guys think of that name? Suicide Grass. <laughs> um, it's for all the world, that's what it looks like. It looks like for all the world that the grass is committing suicide. I mean, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But, and we fall down the hole. And as we fall down the hole, I take a drink, because I'm going to need it. That's not creepy. <laughs> Hello, convenient flower. What are you? <laughs> and bright light. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. See, there I go with the accent problem again. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> Aw, boo-hoo, why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now, do you really think you could beat me as I am now? Fool! Oh, oh he's giving Link diarrhea. Hmm, what is he doing? Okay, I know what he's doing, but... Hmm? I see visions. Of. Holy shit, Deku Scrub! There, there, there! Why did you send me to a Deku Scrub orgy? Ah! And of course, me being me, I go for the orgy first. And a big goddamn whoa shit. First time I saw that, that freaked me the hell out. Yeah, pretty much the same reaction. <laughs> now that's a good look for you. You'll stay in here looking that way forever. Because... Lulls. Wait, was that... Was that the door or was that Toddle making that like a little electric sound? This is... Uh-oh. You forgot a fairy. Whoa, whoa! Skull Kid, wait for me! I'm still here! Tail, you can't leave without me! And Toddle gives herself a concussion. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother! Well, don't just stand there! Don't just sit there, Deku boy! Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Well... Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please? Come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up! Oh, Tail, what if that child will be alright on his own? And before I get into too much trouble in, in terms of my characterization of Toddle, because I, you never know what'll happen, um, keep in mind, it is there's nothing that says one way or the other, and, and yeah, open the door. Because the fairy apparently can't open a door, I don't know why. But, you know, uh, whichever way, it, it, maybe it might be a little bit more accurate to say that Toddle, wherever you are, back here, you know, that Toddle right here, maybe maybe she just identifies as female, and is really a male. Mm -hmm. You know, either way, Toddle is, Toddle is not getting a voice change from me. And I kind of I like the idea. I 
still like the idea that t that there is a fairy that is going through a transition. I, I like that idea. That that intrigues me. Somebody needs to write fan fiction of something like that. Uh, hey, wait, don't, don't wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, the stuff back there, I um apologize. So, so take me with you. You want to know about that skull cube you just ran off, right? Wow, hi, personal space a little bit. Well, I, ooh, excuse me. Ooh, hi. I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's settled. I didn't say anything. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch that skull kid. My name's Toddle, so uh, it's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press top C and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully you'll manage to get by without my help until then. Oh boy. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. So of course you have your training area, which a game that has a tri like like a learning area like this, it, it, it at least it's at least starting out good. Now I'm not now obviously Majora's Mask is a good game, you know at least I think so. But I consider something like this where you know you can learn in in a space where it's like it's it's not really gonna affect anything where you can take your time learn everything that you need you know your, your basics you know in a timely manner then hey you know that that's that's good in my book I just wish the other two mass transformations got something well you can learn them and I guess it doesn't take as long to learn them and in this area you do have two things you have you have two forms you gotta kind of get familiar with you got the Deku's form and then you got you know regular link Of course, to be fair, it is a little, you know, first timers could have a little bit more of a difficulty learning the Deku flowers. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but point is, it's actually a good thing. I've got nuts now! <laughs> Deku nuts, you throw, they flash, enemies turn blue, and then you can, then you can beat them. With your sword. Mercilessly. And you can drop them from the skies, too. Whee! Now, something I didn't realize until I watched Chugga Conroy's run is that these Deku flowers, they don't... Oh, oh, shut up, Toddle. And you know what? No, I'm not even gonna. Because I already know about Z-targeting. Fuck you. But as I was saying, these Deku flowers, they run on um, radius. I mean, obviously you float a little bit to the ground, but... What's this? It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy. Almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. Yeah. Um. If you've beaten the game, you know who this is. Or was, in this case. Yeah. Oh, hey, Trippy. Hey, when did I get to the Forest Temple? Oh, music. Can't get out that way. Alright, so this first video, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and go through the first three-day cycle until I get the Song of Healing. Um, obviously, there will be some cuts in there. Um, yeah, I've got I've got no time limit or anything, so the first three-day cycle is what's going... Basically, it's going to entail this video. Um, future videos may not be quite as long or as explainy. Um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be about it. Um, again, I'm not as thorough in as, as some things as Chugga Conroy is. I will be getting some things. I'll be doing some different things, um, and, and of course, uh, things and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm too busy to explain. Let's just go. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Hello, have you been stalking me? I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. Yet again, I'm, I'm, I'm having issues, but uh, they'll get better. So here I am at a loss, and now I found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you, fucking stalker. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. 
In exchange, all I ask is that you get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. My mouth is not wanting to work properly. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should, be, it should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. Okay then, so we gotta get your mask back. But more importantly, my precious item. What is that precious item? Duh, Ocarina. Dawn of the first day. I'm not gonna be doing this every time. Now it is also to my understanding that this first cycle time goes slightly faster than it does in the rest of the game. Which I guess is kind of a good thing. <laughs> you don't want to be stuck here doing this for like three hours or whatever. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Uh, sorry, just thinking aloud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours? Talk about demanding. Oh, that's not much. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. No, we're not. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. No, I won't. Because she's in pieces. Yes, I, I have knowledge that I technically am not supposed to have. Hey, kid. Mm. See, again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this like Chugga Conroy does. I know these things. Um, um, because this is this is basically just me playing through the game, you know. And and you know, of course, you know, every every play has got to be different, right? <laughs> if we did everything the same, it'd be, yeah, that's the great, you know, the the uh, piece of the great fairy, a uh, stray fairy. Take them to the fairy fountain that matches their color, and you get something special. Hooray! And since I know I'm gonna have to anyway, hi. Wait, wait, hang on! It's like, I walk near it! Hi. This is my private property! Don't try using it when I'm not around! It's like, I was just gonna look at it. Wasn't gonna use it. Oh well. So, okay. So these first three days, there's a lot that's going to end up happening. Um, that's going to end up happening off screen, and it's not going to be a lot of grinding for me because what I've learned I like to do. Hi, who are you? What's this? Green claws, white fairy, sir? Could you by chance be a forest fairy? Oh my! My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, though, I am already age thirty-five. No fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age. But why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. And, and, and canonically, or maybe not canonically, he's gotten more pussy than Link. <coughs> now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky. You're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know. We should be friends. Yes, yes. In exchange, I will sell up you a map of, for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Lips work properly. Mm. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yeah, sure, I'll buy a Clock Town map. Yeah, all the overworld maps you have to buy. Well, call again! Right. <laughs> These are our magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them! Yeah, well... There. I got that out of my system. Uh, yeah. Okay, gonna, I'm gonna buy the other map, too. Even though you could get it cheaper a little later on. I just want to get this out of the way. <laughs> and since I'm gonna be grinding for rupees anyway, may as well. Alright. So, we have the Stray Fairy. We've got the maps. And in we go. 
Uh, oh no, the great fairy! Yep, as I said, she's split up into, fifth, into different pieces. Clockdown has only one piece, but then uh, the temple's the main dungeons have 15 pieces each. And yes, I'm going to end up grabbing all of them. That's going to be fun. Uh, uh, again, I'm not even going to bother with the voice. <laughs> Tottle, and you, the young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. Well, that's what happens. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Holy shit, not even a dungeon, and I already get magic power. Mm. You know, as of running around as a little Deku wasn't enough of a change from Ocarina of Time, you now get magic practically off the right off the bat. <sighs> and the magic gave him the cramps. Yeah, you got magic power, and I can shoot fucking bubbles! <clears throat> the man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the Skullkid's whereabouts, but be careful. But you must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If you ever return to your former shape, come see me, and I shall give you more help. Hmm. Ah. Okay, so now we can shoot fucking bubbles. Hmm. And, um. Let's see. You're trying to shoot that balloon. Hi, how you doing, kid? What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. <laughs> and I'm sure you don't want. I'm sure I shouldn't tug on Superman's cape, either. Or spit in the wind. Or pull the mask off an old Lone Ranger. And if any of you get that reference, I will give you so many internet cookies. <laughs> okay. Hi! I was right in front of you. Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub! Yeah, well, my bubbles are awesome. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. Oh, hey, good. That's where I need to go. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. Dude, I have bubbles that can pop a balloon. You'll have to pass my test first. Can I pop you in the ass with my bubbles? Are you ready? Sure. All right, line up, guys. Five guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are you ready? Yay! Yay! Yeah, <laughs> he fails. What's funny is Jim will hide over here, and you can make him be the first one. Come here. You can also... Got him. <laughs> you were the first one, Jim. You are pathetic. Yeah. Again, when I first went through this, I used to have problems with this. Now I'm looking at it and it's like, really? I had problems with this? Of course, at the time, I didn't realize you could actually, you know, shoot bubbles and stun them. I'm actually going to go this way first. Because um, there's just one kid over here. In, um, oh goddamn, West Clock Town. This direction, yeah, West. Mm. There's the banker. We'll be seeing a lot of him. Or her. You know what? Whatever your life choices. Whatever your life choices, dude. Um, asexual dude. Um, you know what I mean. Ha! Gotcha. No, a lot of times I'll leave that one for last, but this time I decided, nah, let's not do that. Uh, and through this, I want to say I've been able to get two or three heart pieces. Um, maybe. If you do it, if you do it right, I think you should be able to get a full heart container. I think. If you do it right. But, um. Hey, kid. You gonna hop down? Maybe. There you are. You're just gonna stand there. 
not move. Hey, you know what? I still get to pop all of these kids in the ass with bubbles. So I, I guess it works out. Yeah, you gonna run away with a chicken? Yeah, you stay right there, kid. Shut up, Toddle. <laughs> he just runs. Just walks off. Yeah. I, th I think part of the problem when I was going through these before is I didn't realize or even bother with the bubbles. You ran into me! into me <laughs> you fail you are such a fail you're more fail than Jim and I found Jim first <laughs> okay you're pretty good for a tech you scrub if only you were human then I could give you an original bombers notebook and make you a member what do you guys think no way no scrubs Scrubs is a boy that can't get no love from me. I guess not. Once, we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang, and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can only tell you once, though, so play attention, or tell you only once, rather. Are you ready? Four, three, one, two, five. The code is 43125. The entrance is to our hide the entrance to our hideout is in East Clock Town. 43125. 43125. Singing to memorize it right now. 43125. Gonna go get this moon tier now. Hello. Yes. What is it now? Say it with me. Four, three, one, two, five. That's right. If you know the code, you remember, right? Okay, here you go. Nah. There's a lot of cool stuff for the telescope guys, please. Oh yeah, and um, Bomber's Secret Society of Justice Forever. Okay. Yay. I, I, I can get, I can get behind these kids. You know, you know, despite that they're kind of lame and useless and. and one kid in the middle of the game just ran right into me. And that seemed to be alright kids. Uh, I, I think, you know, if, if, if they, you know, when they grow up, I, th I think they'll be okay. They'll, they'll be, they'll be great guys. They'll grow up to be great guys. Hi! Don't think I didn't see you up there. Yes! My bubbles can kill a Sculptula. I, I, I approve of this development. <laughs> Shut up, Toddle. Uh, but at least Toddle has just the little ding ding. It, it's not like the fucking hay from Navi, so. Oh, a balloon. Prepare for bubble. There you go. Oh dear. So yeah, there's there's a lot of waiting around with the way I kind of go through the first day. So uh, there'll be some cuts. So it, it, you're not gonna see like the entire three days. Uh, there may be one point or another where I actually come back here and, and just talk to the Scarecrow and, and and just pass by, you know, 12 hours of time. Uh, that's not going to be right now, though. Oh, here are the stairs. Well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers Gang? Hmm. Your manners seem much better than those of your mysterious friend from the other day. Oh, of course the Skull Kid's been here. <laughs> That ill mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon steer. Said there was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Oh, sure. Let's see what that little fucker is. Hey, who's that? Oh, there he is. First person to ask who, who how he gets up there is going to get smacked. Because it's pretty obvious. Boom! Okay, how does the telescope move that way? Right. No, I don't want to spank you. Not your ass, at least. 
Well, did you find that troublemaker? And what was that, that, that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon steer has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. But I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. Boom! He flew, you dumbass. The only way up there is through the clock door. And that opens on, only on the eve of the carnival. The kid can fly. Idiot. Think about it. You're a scientist. You should be able to figure that out. I mean, I, I, I think that old man would have some degree of intelligence. But we have the moon steer. Why do we have the moon steer? Well, we'll find out now, won't we? <laughs> Wait, I have sea items. There. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. And, of course, going out, going in. Hey, look. I can get more rupees. I can get more rupees. Night of the first day already? Wow. Ah, and the pathway to the clock tower is almost completely open. Oh, yeah. I don't need magic, so. Now, the thing about the Skulltula, at least as far as my playthroughs have been concerned. He's gone. He's not coming back until I reset the cycle. So, that... Yeah. And of course, Deku Scrub. Skip across the water. Run out of skips. It'll, you know, he'll fall in and drown. You'll just have to start back on the platform you were on. The first solid platform you were on. You'll see what I mean if I mess up later in the game. <laughs> oh. But there is one advantage to, um, to actually doing the uh, playthrough like this. And if you hear that outside, I apologize. Apparently there is, there is a mechanical elephant outside. Or it's just the garbage man. Ah, you fucking dog. So, hopefully that's not too bad in the recording. Very short out of my wares and a carnival hasn't even begun. Blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return her to my village. Return to her in my village. I've heard there is a stone called the Moon Stair that shines brighter than any in all the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it from you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Well, you're packing up a going home anyway, so, uh, sure. I happen to have a Moon Stair. Ah, that stone! You must hand it over to me! In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included, yes? Yeah, sure. I got the title deed! Yay! Now I can use this thing. You've really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku scrubs, but you already know that. Mm. Okay, take a moment. Wow. <laughs> if you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Huh. <sighs> Good thing I have a drink. <laughs> mm. I know what you're wondering. Are you going to do voices all over the game? Probably. Because it's fun, you know? Uh, I got I to gotta keep that up. I've, I've been able to do do voices and in, in, in all that. Not always the best, but, but I have a small repertoire. I'm not like Spaz Fox, okay? Spaz Fox, you know, yeah, first piece of heart. We all know the, how that works. Um... The door to the clock tower opens only once a year, at midnight on the eve of the carnival. Yeah, I know this. I'm not just going to stand here, though. I'm going to actually go move around and do things. Um, well, first, let's go take care of the bank. Um, I also thought I was going to do the mini one of the mini-games that you can do around here as a Deku Scrub, but it's already nightfall, so I'm not going to worry about that this cycle. Um, I'll worry about it at some point, but not right now. Um, let's see. So let's go talk to the banker. Hi. Hey there, little guy. Won't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing. Nothing. So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. da 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 So what'll it be? Hey, you know what? I'll start my 200 rupee journey by giving you... Okay, 34. Seriously? That's a lot! A lot! A lot! So, little guy, what's your name? Hmm. 
Gomer, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't, doesn't leave any marks, and it's not going to hurt. Then how are you going to read it? Boom. Yeah. Yeah, so now you'll know me when you see me. You know, I know everybody's already made jokes about this, but, um... You can really fuck up somebody's economy that way. Just saying, you know? Uh, now, I have the title deed. The Deku Scrub is gone. The flower is open. I've got a piece of heart. Dog's chasing me. Stupid dog. Uh, so, let's go to the end. Let's see who's, in, who's at the end. Which, by the way, will become quite important to one particular side quest later on. Uh, yeah, this is going to be, at the very least, a 100% mask run. Um, I don't know if I'll do 100% of everything, but it will definitely be 100% mask. Hi. Okay, nothing's in here. Okay. Huh. Oh, well. I, I guess I came at the wrong time. There's supposed to be somebody in here. Um, well, you know what? There's nothing, nothing that says that... Okay, Link, Link, little buddy, do you need to go? Do you need to go? I guess so. Uh, so, sure. Well, I, I guess we'll just try and... Ah! 12 o'clock on the button. Shit, dude. Baby, please! Um, I have this. What the hell? <laughs> oh, you saved me from having dirty underwear. This fell down here. I'll give it to you. A piece of heart. You shat a piece of heart, dude? Okay, then. Well, I guess I'll just pee somewhere else. <laughs> so, yeah. The, the, the inn is closed, technically, but you can get in through the top, at all times. You have sucky security. But that happens sometimes, having sucky security. Um, break! Now up there, if you can look note the map... See, here's another thing I like about this. Um, it's this video capturing software I'm using. You can actually see if I point to something. I may have pointed it out already in a quartz video. But if you look down here, not only do you see my cursor, but you could also see this chest. Can't get that just yet, unfortunately. Although I so wish I could. <laughs> oh, can't go in the milk bar until I have a certain mask, or at least not this time of night. Um, yeah. So basically, there's not much to do other than um, you know grind for rupees. So what's going to end up happening? I'll, I'll 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 show you grinding a little bit here, just to show that you know what I'm going to be doing off screen. Uh, just come back to these, come back to the suicide grass, go out, come in, and do that until I, I have up to the 200 rupees. Um, so it's basically going to be that. Um, yeah, it's going to be kind of boring, so, um, yeah, so I'll see you when I go and talk to the guy for, uh, the, uh, adult's wallet. So, so, I'll be back. Alright, so here we are again, and, yeah, night of the second day, right at night of the second day. You need something? Deposit some rupees. Let me take a look at you. Oh, 133. So, how many are we going to do? 70. Really? That's a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, little guy, I got 203. What's this? You've already saved up 200 rupees? Well, little guy, here's your special gift. Take it. I got the adult wallet. Now you can hold up to 200 rupees. Yes, fill it up, deposit more. Yay, he wants all of your money. Now, once again, there's not much I can do. I admit, I actually... Did the little mini game off screen to help build up some rupees, but you know, again, I'm gonna be showing that a little later. Um, go away, dog. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Hey, guard person, help me! Help me! Help me! Stop right there, Darko Scrub. Do you intend to return to the swamp alone? Maybe. 
It is dangerous at night, so I cannot allow a child like you to go out alone. You are not allowed to pass through here without an adult or until you are old enough to carry a weapon. Motherfucker, I have bubbles. Oh shit. Motherfucker, I have bubbles. And I can spin. Makes you think I'm not gonna be able to take care of myself. Yeah. Fucker. Alright. Um Yeah, I, I think that's I think except for one thing I could do with on the third day, and that's just getting some rupees, honestly. Um I think I can just hop up here and kind of fast forward to the uh, well to, you know what I'll fast forward from here to the uh, yeah you know what I'll just go talk to the goddamn scarecrow yeah and just fast forward to the final six out 12 hours or whatever um, and in that time we're gonna see some running around <laughs> And since I'm just gonna go talk to the scarecrow, I can I can record and blab at you guys for a little bit longer. Um, I, I guess a little bit more in terms of what this run is going to entail. As I said, it's not gonna be as in depth as Chugga Conroy. There will be 100% masks, um, which means I'll have to do the tedious um, Anju and Kefi side quest, and I'll do it twice. Uh, but I only have to go through that hideout once, so that's a good thing. Um, so there, there's going to be that. Um, when it gets to the final battle, I will not use the mask you get at the end of the game for it. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, because uh, I want it to be exciting. Uh, yo, hey baby, I'm a stylish scare scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of the eye to dance with me. If you like, baby, we can figure out the time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? Sure, why not? Oh yeah, in that case, forget the time. Let's dance. Hey, it's a meteorite in place of a globe. Is Termina, is Termina on a meteorite? I have to wonder. Uh, of course, on on the final day. Yeah, and we'll do one more, and then we're going to go rushing. Still full of energy. We can dance till night. We could dance all day. Oh yeah. And no way I can skip it. <laughs> yes, if you if you're like me and you find yourself just having a lot of time at the beginning, this guy is helpful. This guy is helpful. Once you get out of the main once you get out of this first cycle, then you're gonna have plenty to do. But uh, same seems is kinda getting kinda dangerous. Yeah, so uh no, because I already know it. Yeah, bye-bye. He's getting the hell out of here, because he's not stupid. There you go, know, because uh, outside, there's a fucking moon that's going to be falling on us if we don't do something about it. Yeah. <laughs> that's another thing. Uh, there's a fucking moon outside. It's threatening to fall on all of us and kill us all, because goddamn Skull Kid has to have his lulls. It's funny. Everybody dies. Rock falls and everybody dies. Rock's falling and everybody dies. La 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 la. He would be a horrible dungeon master. La 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 la. Yes, I spent a whole day down here dancing my ass off, and so we're gonna, you know, I'm a little, I'm just a little cranky. Ugh. So come on, let's do more. Go and go and go and go. Yeah, see, there's not a lot of time. Left and like I said, this goes by slightly faster than it does in in normal what I call normal, you know, post post first three days so, post first cycle. There we go. Get up here and wait. There's another chest over there. Fifty rupees. Your face is beaming. Holy shit! I did not real. I didn't realize I was over there. Um, looks like I'll be coming back with a hookshot later on. But for now, I've got this 50. Shut up, Toddle. I know the moon is falling. You know, he's pushing the moon down, pulling the moon down. Um, and you... You haven't evacuated yet! Yeah, I'm gonna deposit some money at the end of the world. Because I'm going to wreck your economy. Actually, not really. 
I don't I don't pull out a lot from here. I at least I haven't in uh, my off, in my initial off-screen playthrough before this. Um, you know, I just deposited, deposited, deposited. And you deposit 5,000 rupees, you will get a piece of heart. And it takes a while. And last, when I was doing it, it took me till about the close to the end of the game. So it'll be a while before I get that one. Um, but right there, you can see the moon. Holy shit, how close are you, dude? You got a booger, too. Ugh. So we have, what, three hours to kill. Three in-game hours, rather, to kill. Um, let's see, what else is there to discuss about the run itself? Um, I love how Link is also sitting there thinking, like, hmm, what, do, what to do, what to do, what to do. So we can spin. Um, let's see, what I say? I said 100% masks. Um, I'll probably do things like get the, you know, go through the Sculptula houses. Um, to get those, well, I have to go through one of them to get the Mask of Truth. Um, go through the other one to get the giant's wallet. Um, I'll try and remember to do the seahorse side quest as well, because I forgot to do that last time. Um, and I kind of want to show that one off. Oh. And as soon as I can, I am getting the Chateau Romani. <laughs> I love that stuff. Um, so I'll probably have that more often. Um, but yeah, I'll try and do uh, at least one or two temples in a cycle. Um, depending on how time goes and everything. Um, after this video, I'm not sure how I'm going to split them up in terms of what I do in each video. I may just do half of a temple, you know, half of a temple. I say half of a temple, which to me is two parts, getting to it, and then the temple proper. Um, I may do half seas on those, or, or whatever, depending on how long it takes. Um, uh, we'll, we'll see how long this video goes. If it's at the right length that I normally want to go, then, you know, I'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have six minutes till the end of the world. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up there now. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Oh, this is a scene. Mm. Ah. Dot, dot, dot. Sis! Ah, Tail! We've been looking for you two. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave back, gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there. Bring them here. Boom. Stupid fairy, don't speak out of line. I read those lines backwards. No! What are you doing to my brother? Skullkit, do you think you're still our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Hehe! <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. That's not good. In the name of the moon, I will destroy you! Um. Uh, oh shit. And now we have a timer. To just do this. Will my bubbles do anything? Yeah, it'll knock. He freezes! Ocarina falls. <laughs> I love how he just sits there and freezes. You gonna do anything to get it? No? Mine. And we learn, we're going to learn our first song. And, of course, set it to C, use the buttons to play it, and we have a flashback. And this right here is how you can tell it's emulated. That right there. Because I don't remember it being that way on the actual N64. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? <sighs> Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day shall come. They will come when I shall meet you again. Till that day comes, please, take this. Take this priceless ocarina. I am praying. I am praying that your journey will be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. The Song of Time. 
Ah, uh, yes. We're going to be sick of this song by the time this run is done. And I am so glad with this. I'm so glad I have this new video capture software, because my silence can is it, not going to be quite as awkward. Because, well, you can hear the difference. <laughs> Song of Memories of Princess Zelda. Yay! Where'd you get the horse? Oh, some some chick at a ranch gave it to me. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the Song of Time, she will aid you. There's a goddess of time. So the doctor did regenerate into a female at one point. Well, as we know as female. Snap out of it! What are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together! Getting that old ocarina back isn't going to help us. Somebody! Anybody! Goddess of time! Help us, please! We need more time! Goddess of time, you say? I happen to have a direct line to her. Hi! Huh? When did you get that instrument? Shape-shifting ocarina. Here we go. Yeah, I will admit, I'm using the uh, replica N64 controller for this. Um, buttons don't seem quite as responsive when doing music. Which is weird. But hey, or it could be just me. But anyway, that's how you properly save the game. You save, you go back to the first day, you lose all of your consumable items, your bombs, arrows, rupees, etc. You don't lose your key items, you don't lose your bow, you don't lose the ability to have the different arrows. And a lot of people, and I'm among them, like to think that this is showing pretty much where the goddess of time is thinking, okay, where do I want to put him? Um, you know, we could put him like right before he runs into the skull kid. We could put him right before he got transformed into a Deku. Or, or even before the meeting the creepy mask salesman, but no, we're gonna put him right the hell here. Yep, this is where we put him. What just happened? Everything is. The dog is frozen. We went back too far, the dog is frozen! Start it over. Yep. And you look up, Moon's a little further away. Still got a booger, dude. Might want to do something about that. What, what are you, anyway? That song you played, that instrument. Ah! That instrument! Wait, that's it, your instrument! The mask salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that, he, that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget, or what? No. You're just a dumbass. Hmm. Huh. But what I will do real quick, well, that way I don't forget. Yeah, inverted song of time. That slows down the flow of time. Play it again to speed it back up. Yes, I'm going to slow it down because that's going to help be helpful once I get the, once I get back to my, my uh, usual form. Now in here, no time passes. Period. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh! 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 You got it! You got it! You got it! You got it! Then listen to me! Please play this song I am about to perform, and remember it well. Okay, where the hell did you pull that organ? Follow along after me. I mean, is your backpack really a TARDIS? And I failed because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, okay. That's actually kind of rare for me. You guys witnessed a rare moment. <laughs> Congratulations! Song of Healing. And it gives him the itis. And bye bye. <laughs> I love how Link is just waving goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Now become a mask. It's like, huh? And I'm back to normal. Yay! 
This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Oh, you better believe it. Ah, yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. I now have the power to turn into a Deku Scrub! Press start and set it to the C buttons. Wear a mask. Yeah, of course, you know, just explain to us. They do it twice just to make sure you have it. Now, I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please, give me that which you promised me. Uh, slight problem. We couldn't do it. Don't tell me. My mask. You did. Get it back. Didn't you? Oh, Jeebus. What have you done to me? Oh, dear. If you leave my mask up there, something terrible will happen. Something terrible already is happening. Have you looked outside? The mask that was stolen from me. It is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. How do you know all this? It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. Again, why the fuck are you looking for it? Why did you have it? According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great... caused a firestorm. The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one knows the true nature of the mask's power. No one really knows either. But I feel it. Let me guess, you're a descendant from them, aren't you? I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that back. You must get that mask back quickly, or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine, surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Okay then. So we have that happening. Um, I'm actually gonna end it here because I don't want to, you know, use up any more time of the of this new cycle right off the bat. So, so that's it for our first part. Uh, I know it's a little lengthy. Um, uh, hopefully you guys like it. Um, this is kind of more. Sh slap together because I do have I do want to have like the title art and all that but I wanted to put this out there just to you know just like throw this out there it's kind of kind of an episode zero you know a prologue to the actual thing altogether and let you guys know what the run's going to entail get things done that sort of thing so um yeah so anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed it hope you come back for future ones and until then this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian signing off